Morning, everyone. Hey, morning, everyone. Jacob, what's, what's happening right? today? I'm getting a bike. Yes, the bike shop called. They have Jacob's bike. Sorry, it's a little windy. It's probably going in your ears, but it's a windy day. What can we do? Ride a bike, maybe. Yeah, probably. And Parker, Bailey, and Duncan all got bikes already, and Jacob's been waiting for his bike. It's finally here. We're gonna go get it. So let's go. Okay, we got Jacob's bike and he hasn't gotten to ride it yet because we had to stop in the house first. Yes, we're at the old house. Da, 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 da. We have a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I've never done something so big before. And I'm sorry if it's echoey. This is what happens when you don't have any flooring or, or furniture or anything. It becomes all echoey. Oh. So. <laughs> What a journey this has been. Like, if you've watched our videos before, you know that the kitchen was already not really my style. So this is really exciting. Even though it's been a lot and unexpected and it's been getting displaced while Christopher has been really um, dealing with his health, it's been very difficult. But as we, we always try to look on the bright side, so the very exciting thing is I think we're gonna get a zone that's really personalized to us, which, We've never done, like we've never been in a home that not only do we get to like pick the colors and like the materials and everything about it, but it's like actually built to us and what we like. That's just like so cool. It's very daunting to me, to my brain because I'm not a designer brained person. Um, I'm not great at visualizing, but I am really excited about what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And I'm thinking it's gonna work, but we'll see. And I wanted to give you some insight as to like what we're hoping for. So people can chime in and please don't make me feel too insecure about my decisions because I think that's one of the hardest things for me is like making decisions. But I also love the discussion and I love before and afters and things like that. So I'm excited to like have that with this, with all of us. So my plan is to basically right now, we're just gonna recreate the footprint that was there before. An island does not fit in our kitchen. So we've measured it like every which way and it really doesn't make any sense to put an island in unless we were gonna get a very small island and actually lose a lot of the storage that our peninsula, which is what we had before, um, can offer. However, one thing I'm really excited about is on that peninsula, it always stopped in the back of like behind the sink, it stopped. But the slab that I wanna get, which would be quartz, by the way, we're considering quartz material for our countertops. Um, we had granite, which is a great material. Quartz can be a little bit better when you have young kids and a higher probability of like scratching and damaging your stone. And it also can come in lighter colors. And I really wanted a light countertop and a very light, bright kitchen. So it's gonna be very <laughs> white. <laughs> a little bit basic in that sense. But I'm hoping that um, the things that will add flavor and individuality um, will be our cookware and things like that and like knobs <laughs> I don't know. the knobs won't even be that interesting probably but i just want it to be bright like that's that's what i need so we're gonna go with bright so we're going to match that footprint that was already there and um we're going to make the slab come out a little bit further um or even the cabinetry less i don't know <laughs> But we're going to make it so that you can actually put little bench seating behind the sink and that peninsula will act like an island in the sense that it will have some seating. And I think it will sit probably three to four people comfortably. I don't know, I haven't measured it. I'm just being hopeful. <laughs> but I think that that's fair to assume. I think that'll make a huge difference for us. I think it'll be really great to have that communal feel while we're washing dishes or cooking and to be able to have the kids sitting at the bench seating, doing their schoolwork, or just hanging out. Um, I'm really excited about that part. And then we will have, a, we're gonna pay to hopefully, you see this up here, how the lights come down? Like there's like a box for the lights. 
And this isn't an insurance part. It's interesting because all of it kind of prices out where it's like, okay, well that's the insurance portion and that's stuff that we're gonna cover because we're just hoping to do it all at once. But this box up here, we're going to demo it and flatten the ceiling and then the cabinets won't have this like odd gap that you can see right there. So that's the plan. We're gonna have just cabinets that are normal, <laughs> I guess. And then Christopher wants a really fancy stove or oven. So we'll see. That's what he's like really, really wanting and we have to price everything out. I don't know, <laughs> but he really wants that. It'll just continue flat. See this doorway here? It's actually a very narrow doorway. It's like 31 inches. And I was watching a YouTube video <laughs> where they said to make your doorway at least 36 inches. So we're going to, this one again is on us, not on the insurance, but we're going to pay to open up that door a little bit. And oops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Round it off, I think, or something. We're gonna do something with it so it's a little bit more open and it won't be 31 inches anymore. See how this coffee bar has a thing in between? We're gonna demo that too and move the fridge over and then hopefully instead of having the coffee pantry zone we're going to have like an actual pantry put in so that's very exciting um we also are talking about us paying to do uh like a bench seating around the window over there and um paying to have something that will substitute as that coffee bar but in the living room and there'd be like a little zone for coffee but in the living room so that's what i'm thinking again everything would be very white we're hoping for a very light colored quartz that is one thing i have a question about because i've, I've been going like oh i've got to find like the whitest quartz possible and i'm seeing a lot of kind of grays and i'm wondering if anybody knows <laughs> if, when you have white cabinets is there a color you're supposed to do with your counters like are you not supposed to have like white on white like is it supposed to be like white and then like a light a light gray or like i don't think i want to go warm with it but should i should i do like a gray and a warm lining what are those things called so i don't i i'm a little stumped with that i see things that i think are beautiful but i don't know if there's some like rule about beauty <laughs> and i know there isn't in general but like you know if there's something where i'm gonna go oh man i messed up when everything all comes together specifically with counters and white cabinets. I know there are different kinds of whites too, and I don't know what I'm getting. I'm just gonna be grateful for whatever the people do <laughs> when they make the cabinets. I'll be like, yay, that's white. Those are the nuances I don't see very well until it all comes together and I'm like, huh, oh, something's wrong, but I can't place it. I'm thinking we're gonna do knobs that are like, I'm thinking, I, I, we don't know for sure, because we're like these two though, those like handle things like that. And I heard, this was that same video, <laughs> that if you have a handle that has the stick come up, you're gonna get your clothes caught in it. So I'm gonna look for like a rounded or squared handle for the things. And I also don't know if there's a too many handles possibility. Like, is there a point like, do you do like knobs on the bottom and handles on top? Like what are the rules? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna research pictures and see what people do um, and see if I can figure that out. I also don't know if there's like a fun knob or something that I should do instead of just sort of like a basic safe black choice because I feel like that's very popular right now but it might be like overdone and there also might be too many of them in here in this tight space so I guess I'm, I've got to figure that out and then we'll paint everything throughout very basic probably at first and then I'll dream of accent walls I think that's those are the big plans we have a couple little like Oh, in the office, got a room right here where I would do Twitch live streaming and other things. Like it's kind of our multi-function backup bedroom if anybody ever wants an extra bedroom or you have Faith stayed in here for a while. We've had Ruth staying in here for some times. Like different, this office is multifunctional. <laughs> it is fully gutted now. So we had a, a built-in um, desk area and closet zone and all that and that all got pulled, so we'd figure that out too. And here's an example of some of the vinyl floorings that they have. This is not going to be the one that we choose, but I think it's gonna be really close. I think we'll have something a little bit lighter with warmer tones, but with a mix of kind of this grayish look. So we're thinking of doing like a shaker cabinet. So it's gonna look kind of like this where it's simple, but some of these have the cut here where it's flat but this comes at like a little bit of an angle here so it has that 
bevel, which I like, but that door isn't going to be as intricate as these ones were, which to me are a lot harder to clean. And they're, they're a little bit dated, just like the look of them. I don't know what it is because I, I like them. Like I like that it goes in and it's a little nice, but I know that it, it's not like really a modern cabinet door. So I'm excited to do something a little bit more like that. And then when I'm saying like a light quartz, this is kind of like what I'm talking about. This isn't exactly the one I was thinking, but I think this is really nice. See, to me, this one looks more gray than what was in my brain, and it's like a little bit darker. I don't know why I put everything like up on the microwave up here. That's the best I can figure out film style. I guess I could put it on the ground, but. So like in theory, it would be really fancy is I could lay out this floor. So again, none of these are things that we picked out. They're, they won't be the final things we picked out, but they're samples of things that like come the closest to to what I want that we could also get free samples of. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just excited to have anything really. So these are like roughly the colors that I'm thinking. This again is a lot darker than what's gonna happen, but, but like, see? So there you go. And what do you think? Do you think that countertop is like just right? Or is it a bit dark? Like I'm thinking, if I went lighter and was, it was more like white, would that be a problem with the cabinets? Um, but that's everything, that's, that's our house. This is all very exciting. And I, I'm also like hesitant because I feel like this is something we've dreamed of for so long and it, it never works out and it always seems like out of reach. I mean, it has to happen. Like look at our house, like we can't live in this, right? So like, something's definitely gonna happen. And I think I'm just hoping that we can pull our end of the other side of it financially because this was an unexpected cost. Not that the insurance won't pay their part, the insurance will do a great job, I'm trusting them. I think they're a great insurance company and I do trust that like we'll be taken care of. However, since there are some things that we want to do at the same time that we weren't necessarily like ready for financially, that's a big decision for me. Like I. I, I'm uncomfortable with that, you know? <laughs> like I'm, all, I'm always like very, I wanna be very careful with the money and stuff. Like we don't usually, Christian and I don't spend money on ourselves. Like our money is for our kids <laughs> and for their activities and like for feeding them. Even this, like you'll, once we figure everything out, we're really hoping to have like everything about it is with the intention of, oh, this will be a great place for them to sit and do school. And this is a great place for them to like have fun together. And like, and that's all our heart like ever is, is you know? <laughs> we just like want to give and like make our home happy and make our family happy and just like be together. So there's so many decisions, you know, cause we've got college and all that stuff coming up around the corner. Um, so I want to make sure we're being wise with our choices and that's a lot of stress. I know overall, like we have our kids young now so building a home that's like the most conducive to family time is really important so i think that's great and i mean you don't and we don't need any of this to be a happy family either like i'm not saying that i'm just saying like i'm excited about having a home that functions around our lives instead of squeezing our lives into the home the way it already was if that makes sense and I, and, I, and again like this is a huge just opportunity and something that i'm really grateful for even though it's been difficult so and I know it's not like that exciting of a design plan, but I'm not a designer. I think the priority is making sure things are very bright. So that's what I'm aiming towards. And that is all. I can't believe it. I honestly don't believe that this is happening. Like I know I'm doing it and I'm like, okay, this is happening. But like, I don't believe that this is actually going to happen. I'm just like, yeah, all right, whatever. It's gonna fall through in the end and this will be our new kitchen. It'll just be like this. But those are my plans, pretty wild. We are back at the rental house and look at Hi. this. Look at this. Hi. Look at this guy. Yeah. He's got a new mountain bike. You're going to ride a bike too? Yeah. Okay, you're going to ride it? You're going to need some shoes on. Oh yeah. oh yeah, your toes are showing. Yeah. Yikes, where'd your sock go? Can you go put your shoes on and then you can ride a bike? Adjust them by using this, but I have to pedal. 
Yeah. And then, and we've got like these things, which help yeah. it so that it, when I'm going on mountain bikes, when I'm like biking on a mountain, it doesn't like. It's a shock absorber. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks. And a kickstand. You like a kickstand? So yeah. It's basically everything. And then this helmet. This helmet, um, it's different than the one I'm used to because it's a magnet. But you can't um you can't pull it off. You have to slide it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. I actually wanted one of the magnet kinds instead of the usual because it's kind of easier to put on. Worth yeah. the wait? Yes, definitely. Oh! How does it feel? It feels great! You guys gonna take it out on the trails? All right, we're gonna make some popcorn, because yeah! guess what? Oh. It's my popcorn. It's yes. my popcorn. Yes, yeah. it is Duncan's popcorn. He gets popcorn in the mail every month with new flavors, and today he's got smoked Parmesan. Yeah! You excited about smoked Parmesan? Yeah. yeah! And this one is Chipotle cinnamon. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Every month I get a, um, a, a popcorn. Uh, when did that start? On Christmas. Yeah, it was one of your Christmas presents, huh? Yeah. And what flavors have you had so far? Um, I don't remember. What was your favorite flavor so far? Um, uh, Lukey, come the on. cookie one. The cookie one? Yeah. Ruse your sous chef? Yeah. That's hard to say. And then the next one is chipotle cinnamon, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have oh, chipotle cinnamon. You are? Yes. Girl. Um, okay. Oh, this one smells good. <laughs> it does smell good. Ooh. Yes. That one pours a little easier, huh? What? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good girl. Good what? Yeah. Do you want to give her a treat? I said this is Is it good? Yeah. Kind of spicy. That one's kind of spicy? You want to try this one? Yes. Good girl. You want to give her a treat? This one's the one that I'm going to have. You like this one best? The smoked Parmesan? Uh-huh. Good girl, Ruth. Yes. Good girl. What a good puppy you are. What a good puppy you are, B. What a good puppy. That was it. That was her touch. Here you go. You want to give her a treat? Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Yep. Yeah. Good puppy. Say good puppy. Good puppy. He wants more. You want more? More treats for Rue? Here you go. One more. Tell her to go down first. Say down. Say down. Say down. Luke, say down. Good, yes. girl. Good girl. Now give her a treat. 
Oh. Okay. You want good puppy. Are you having baby food? Yeah. <laughs> Is it good? You want more baby food? Okay.